I can't believe how many games you lost by less than a touchdown. Uh, you you lost more games by less than a touchdown than any other team in the NFL. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, my first experience in the NFL. So every week we were coming down the wire, and I'm like, Jesus, this is how it is every week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember Matthew kind of looking at me like. It's the NFL right here. So, uh, so is that a sign that the Lions are a couple players away? Is that a sign? What does that mean? Yeah, I think obviously uh, a lot of games where it's just you know a missed opportunity here and there, and you know we get the ball maybe with a minute, you know, with a chance to go win it, or uh, or the other team has the ball with a minute left to go win it, and they, they were able to. And uh, yeah, a lot of games that came right down the wire, and uh, it was a wild. One. It was a lot of exciting games for those who followed Detroit and watched those games. What were the differences for you? I mean, a, a year ago, you were still over across the street over at VSU waiting to see what happened with your future. Of course, you go to Detroit, you make the squad. Once again, beating the odds of what people said, oh, hell, I've been making an NFL squad. You made the squad. Uh, we're a member of the Detroit Lions. What is this whole past year? If you could sum it up, you know, just a little bit, what, what has it been like for you? Uh, there's been a lot, you know, I, I kind of think about that. I mean, essentially right now where we are, this is really the first time like Julie and I have had a break and, uh, you know, you go right from Boise State season. Uh, we had a few days for Christmas after the Vegas Bowl and then, then, you know, you hop on a flight and you're in California and, you know, you go through all that off season stuff and the training and the combine and then, then you go to Detroit and then you're there and. You know, maybe have a couple of weeks in the summer to, to breathe, and then you're right in the camp. And so, uh, it's been a long year. Uh, it's been exciting, certainly. You've been been a lot of places, done a lot of things, uh, met a lot of good people. But uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to finally have a break and to, to breathe and relax a little bit. A little bit about your former coach, Coach Peterson. Of course, we've gone through another round of, oh no, he's going here, he's going there. Yep. Guess what? He's staying with the program with the guys he's committed to, and he's right here. When Coach Peterson, I had this conversation and kind of changed my mind on some things. When he is all said and done, when he is finished and he's decided he's going to go cut coupons and watch football on TV on Saturdays, what do you think he'll be most remembered for? Uh, that's, that's a really good question. Uh, you know, obviously everyone can look at the success and the development of the program. Uh, I think there's there's definitely been a culture that, that he's developed that I think is very unique and you know, from the football perspective and in the football world, I think that's one of the biggest things people from the outside recognize is, you know, they recognize people. You can quickly recognize someone who came from Boise State. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can just, you can tell everyone kind of views it as there's something, there's some outlier type thing going on there that no one else can really capture or, you know, attain, but, you know, they want to. But, uh, you know, there's just something that's been developed over Who do you pick for the AFC Championship and why? Ooh, AFC Championship. AFC champ. You know, I think uh, Den Denver's obviously been playing very well, and and you look at New, New England, Houston. That'll, that'll be a good one. And I think, uh, you know, everyone looks at New England beat them the previous one, but uh, you, 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 Houston you never really know. Has a shot at that? I, th I think Houston really does, and uh, huh. yeah, I, I think at, in the end of the day, uh, there's something you know special about New England. They always find a way, and mm -hmm. uh, probably see another one of those Manny uh, Brady things that we all grew up watching. Yeah, it'll be in Denver. I yeah. think that'll be the deciding <laughs> factor there. NFC champs. NFC is interesting just because you know we, we're in the NFC. We've played a lot of these teams, and so uh, really we played all four. And uh, so, so you've seen them: uh, San Francisco mm -hmm. and uh, Green Bay. That that one's very different from the first one because the first one was Week One, uh, beginning of the year. Alex was playing, not uh, Kaepernick, and uh, Green Bay is a very different team from earlier in the year, just yeah. from our experience watching them on tape and playing them. Uh, they're they're kind of hot at the right time and playing well, and uh, you know Aaron Rodgers kind of, he just scrambles around and makes plays, and uh, you know, Green Bay's pretty pretty lethal. So yeah. think, finally, one question for you. You mentioned, in fact, going to be visiting some family here in the upcoming days. What are your plans for the off season? Yeah, just, just work out, and at the same time, trying to keep a balance, you know, mm -hmm. You still want to continue to work out and throw and do do that aspect to kind do of develop. Do you get a coach? Do you get a coach to work with you, or do you do uh, it at Boise State? I'll, I'll probably you know mainly do it at Boise State, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you find a group of guys. You know, there'll be different guys back here that have been in the NFL or are in the NFL currently, and yeah, you, know, you do that aspect. But at the same time, it's it's your chance to get away for a few months and do little trips here and there, see some family that maybe you didn't get a chance to during the season, and. Uh, 
you know, enjoy, enjoy your time because before you know it's April and you're kind of back into it. You're going to be, uh, are you booked to do any signings in town or appearances at all or are you hiding? <laughs> I don't know. We'll uh, see how that develops. So far all I've been doing is hiding and uh, catching up on the sleep. So. Well, perfect. Kellen, thank you so much for going off the record. We've enjoyed uh, talking to you each week during the course of the season as you've gone through your experience. Hope to do that again next year as uh, we continue to follow your career and uh, uh, career path. We do appreciate it, Kellen. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you.